Hello again, this is Al K0CN, and in this video I'd like to talk about using a linear amplifier with your Flex Radio. In this video I'll be using my Flex 6500 and an Alpha 9500 linear. We'll also look at the Alpha 8410, which is a manually tuned amplifier. So first, let's take a look at how we set up our station. We'll need our radio. We'll need the amplifier, a tuner, and finally an antenna. Next we have our coax, which connects the radio to the amplifier, runs through the tuner, and then to the antenna. Next we run a control line from the radio to the amplifier. This line will key the amplifier when the radio transmits. These are the only connections you'll need for basic operation. Now let's take a look at the rear panel of the Flex 6500. We'll connect our coax to the Antenna 1 connector, and we'll connect our control line to TX1. Now let's move to the back panel of the Alpha amplifier. Here we'll connect the other end of the coax cable to the RF input, and we'll connect the other end of the TX control line to the terminal labeled Key In. We'll finish the setup then by running the coax from the RF output of the amplifier through the tuner and to the antenna. Okay, with that done, let's look at the settings we'll need to make in the Smart SDR software. First, I'll move to the band where I plan to operate, in this case, 40 meters CW. Next, I'll go to the flag on slice A and set the transmit antenna. That'll be antenna 1 in red. I'll then set this slice to be my TX slice. The TX icon should be red. We'll leave the flag now and move to the TX panel. Here, we'll set the tune power slider to 10%. This will give us about 10 watts of flex transmitter output when we press the tune button. I'll also reduce my RF power slider to about 10% for now. You'll see a numerical value for the setting percentage by hovering the mouse pointer over the slider. Next, let's look at the radio setup and check the linear control line settings. We'll go to Settings on the menu bar and then Radio Setup. In the Radio Setup window, we'll select the TX tab. Here, I'll want to enable the RCA TX1 port. This will activate a relay, so when I transmit with the Flex 6500, the TR relay for the TX line will close and can be used to key my amplifier. Be sure to check the hardware manual for your Flex 6000 Signature Series radio and the manual for your amplifier to make sure you do not exceed any voltage or current limits for the relay. We'll require no further settings for the alpha amps as used in this video. Now let's turn our attention to the amplifier. For the alpha 9500, when RF power is applied from the flex 6500, the alpha's internal computer will measure the frequency of the RF signal and automatically switch the amp to the appropriate band and band segment. When I key the transmitter, I see about 10 watts of drive power on the alpha power meter. Next, I'll turn on the high voltage by pressing the operate switch on the alpha and press the tune button on Smart SDR. I hear the TR relay click and the drive power is applied. We can check the output power of the amplifier on the front panel power meter. Pressing the tune button a second time turns off the transmitter. With everything working as it should, I'll again press the tune button on Smart SDR TX panel and increase the drive power to the amplifier by moving the slider. At the same time, I'll monitor the power output of the amplifier's power meter. If I wish to operate at 1000 watts, I'll move the tune slider upward until I reach 1000 watts on the amplifier's power meter. At this point, I'll stop transmitting. I'll note the percentage value of the tune slider and set the RF power slider to that value. Once the RF power setting has been determined, I'll move the tune slider percentage back to 10. We should now be ready to operate. The settings that we've just made limit the power output of the Flex 6500 to about 27 watts. And this in turn will limit the power output level of the Alpha 9500 
to about 1000 watts. If I wish to change the power output of the amplifier, I can do so by making small changes in the RF power slider setting. Lowering the value will give me less power output and higher slider settings will give me more output. I only need to monitor the output level on my amplifier's power meter and keep the values appropriate for the amplifier or for the legal power limit. Now we're ready to switch back from the dummy load to the antenna and put a signal on the air. After I've made all these settings in Smart SDR, I'll save them in a transmit profile. If I don't have one, I can easily create one by going to Profiles on the menu bar, Profile Manager, and then select the Transmit tab. I'll click on the input box and name my new transmitter profile. I'll use TX Alpha 1. Next, I press the Save button. This will write the new profile to the profile list. From now on, when I move to 40 meters, I can go to the Transmit panel of Smart SDR and select the profile from the list, and the settings will be called back for immediate use. Now, a few minutes to talk about this process with other amplifiers. For example, the Alpha 8410 or any amplifier with manual tuning. The first difference will be that we manually have to switch to the band where we intend to operate. Second, we'll need to manually adjust the tune and load capacitors of the amplifier to match the antenna being used. For that, we'll apply about 10 watts of RF power, as we did in the previous example. When the amplifier is initially tuned, we next increase the power output of the flex radio using the tune slider until we reach the desired amplifier output. Once there, we'll stop and move the RF slider to match the tune slider value. We'll reset the tune slider to its initial value of about 10, and now we're ready to operate. Well, with that, I'll bring this video to a close, and I hope you found this information useful. Wishing you good luck and good DX. All the best from Al, K0CN, and thanks for watching.